Netflix. So I'm sure they would want to qualify and get their hands on that trophy. And that would be a lot of, uh, it would ease a lot of pressure on the management of Bofuakwa Tunnel here. But you're still watching Star Times at the Channel 247. My name is Mutala Yakubo. I've been joined by Nanedu and of course Albert Korte and you'll be hearing from them as well. As I told you yesterday, it was a big one. Other than Anakra Mansa Park, we'll be looking at that game. Albert, good afternoon and uh, always a pleasure to have you in the studio. This year's FA Cup has been a solemn one because uh, the big boys that is Kotoko Hearts have been booted out. But how has it gone so far for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a good goalkeeper. He's doing well for Sante Kotoko. Oh, but you know, uh, I'm one of those people who never thought that Sari could usurp Dan Lad and be in the post for Sante Kotoko. But he's shown his quality and. Uh, people people were raising concern, like mm. you know, Benjamin Asari of Gates Olympics, yeah. Kofi Bao of Samates, mm. and Obin Seche Gregory of Brooklyn Chelsea has also had good seasons so mm. far in the Premier League. But Freddie Kasari, the competition on who film was Santa Cotoko with Dan Lada, who mm. has been in the World Cup 217, 220, 223, and of course, Moe Sport, you know, would me pass that test need to become a number one goalkeeper for Santa Cotoko there. It means Big things in the goalkeeping and department. Not, that not, is the reason why even, I don't know any other yeah, over the rest of the goalkeeper. I don't even think so. I think based on his individual performances, he's done brilliant for us. And I think to also pass it through the yeah. rounds under 17 and under 20. Yeah. I think once yeah. he was the second goalkeeper to the lad in by yeah, one yeah, of the under 17. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so also pass through the rounds. It, it's so, not been bad. We are just hoping. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we are just hoping, sir, he would continue what he started with us and take Otoko and maybe take it to the next level. Of course, uh, to be the number one goalkeeper for us and take Otoko, whilst there's a figure like Dan Lad there. And what did I say, Felix? And now, what oh, no, yeah, academic graduates yes. passing through Wafa, Wafa, Aka Lions. So, Kotoko, so, so it's not been it's not been easy for him, but. I mean, thank God, Albert Okodu Black Star, and I'm sure you put in a lot of work to ensure so we do all them. Because it's not um, easy for a goalkeeper, yeah. a local goalkeeper, to be selected. Yeah, like but that. You, you guys have ambushed me, mm. and I, I thought you were coming to discuss FA Cup. Mm. Unfortunately, we have diverted mm. to uh, Frederick Asari's. It's all for the love of Ghana football. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's done so well, he's, he's passed through the ranks from the under 17, like Riley said, to under 20, under 23. To look up blasters and now to the main blasters. I think this is the right time for him, and I think it's the best time for him actually. Uh, let's see what what he, he brings on board. He he was called up not because of of because he's so super in the in the Ghana Premier League because the stats even favor the likes of Benjamin Asari and Co. But uh, Coach Otuado watched qualities of a player. Mm. He watched the qualities of a goalkeeper, and he sees that among the keepers in Ghana, Frederick Asari stand tall when it comes to the kind of Go keep it the expertise that he wants. And look, looking at his experience from Accra Lions, uh, Division 2, qualified them to Division 1, captain mm -hmm. them to Premier League, captain them in the Premier League. It's, it's, it has been a roller coaster for No, him. no, but Albert, I'm not cutting. You have seen his good. Yeah. When first did you spot Frederick and when you saw him, <laughs> what was running through your I, mind? I, I spotted him when he was, when he was in, the, in the secondary school. I, I watched one of the games. And I, and Which I school was that? Nungwa Secondary School. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Nusek. Yes, we were at the end of Nusek. Oh, okay. So, so I, I watched the game and I was, wow, this keeper looks very modern. It doesn't look like the, the old, like, keeper. Fashion that, goalkeeper. Yeah, this, yeah. this is somebody who has, his technique is very different. So, I developed interest in him and after the game, I spoke to him. But then I was running the club, so I invited him to come and join the club later. And then he joined Wafa. From Wafa, he came back and then I took him to Accra Lions. From Accra Lions, spent almost six years there. Then I... I brought him to Asante Kotoko. So he was close to joining House of Folk yeah. because of 500 Ghana <laughs> CD. The likes of Akambi and Odote couldn't sign for the Kasari. He moved to Asante Kotoko. Let us, I, I let have no idea about that. That, that, that is the information <laughs> okay. I'm giving to viewers. <laughs> okay. I know everything about the Kasari situation. Because of 500 Ghana CD, <laughs> he couldn't sign for House of Folk. Akambi and Odote have to leave the player to go to Kotoko see, because of 500 Ghana CD. You are making a spin. He's the manager here, you but I'm not going to say that. And I hope tomorrow you can, you can defend this. Of course. And when, when, an open forum. when Dr. Nyaho calls, I'm sure he can defend himself. I mean, very, very well, maybe he's privy to an information that I do not I know. Be, unless, to this, yeah. unless you I can't tell be a witness to this. Nanedu, you are speaking on TV. What you are saying is not true. <laughs> but he said he can't be a witness. He doesn't have an idea of what you are saying. So maybe you have your information yes. from a different source. So 
uh, once he can defend it, the that player before. was demanding 3,500 yeah, yeah, Please, man. please, please. And the house of football. But was present please, when please. the negotiation was on. Oh, I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. So that is why your source was telling me. So he's saying that is what his source tells me. And I'm a principal actor. And I'm saying it's not the truth. It's not the truth. Okay. Then then let's move on. On to from further. So Asante Kotoko, he joins Asante Kotoko. He comes to meet Dala uh, Ibrahim yeah. at the club, and you were so confident you know, that you, you make know, we, were, we were aware of the competition he was coming to face. Mm. We, we had no reason not to, not to believe in ourselves. And Frederick, even at Akala, he met uh, a very tall Senegalese keeper who was so good. You guys don't know him. He scored Mansu. Mm. And those who, uh, who monitored uh, Madina Division 2, I think seven or eight years ago, they will tell you who that keeper was. Very tall, almost 197. Very, very tall, and he was so good. Uh, Asari, you serve him also, yes. So, he meeting, I mean, goalkeepers with such qualities is not something new to him. I believe for the past 10 years, I believe there's not been any keeper like Asari in our local league, mm. Mm. yes. That is a bold statement. I'm, I'm telling you, and and if people will be fair to us without taking, I mean, size, if Asari had not joined Kotoko, I'm not sure a lot of people will know him. But he was very good and exceptional at even at Crown Lounge and even at Kotoko. Mm. It's unfortunate we don't give eyes to this. I mean, I don't call them lower clubs. Mm. But it's, it's of, but if you those who know Asari very well from his division two days, they'll tell you he was he was he was he was made he was caught to the twenty when he was playing in division two. He was part of that two thousand and nineteen uh, but which went to Niger with Kudu Senko. He was part of that team. Oh, okay. So this this was somebody who has been new to the system. Those who know him know him very well from the from from his even do you, do you remember Ethel uh, uh, Rising Stars? Yeah, I remember very well. He was supposed well. to go to Korea. He was the number one keeper then. He was supposed to go to Korea. During that year, the Ebola came. So I mean, like they couldn't travel because of the Ebola. So this is somebody who has transited at every point of his career. So he knows the system. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That those who know him, and even that one he was cut by the legendary Afrani. So you could imagine about you could see the trajectory of his development. So it's not somebody who is new to the system. It's just, um, it's just unfortunate when he joined Kotoko before, I mean, people got to know him. Hey, of course, once you day. play for Kotoko, has the eyeballs so will problem. be on you. But even when he was at, 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 at Accra Lounge, mm -hmm. he was invited to local blasters. So he should tell his quality. Well, so that is Frederick Asari, and he works with Albert Porte there. Now he's had the opportunity of tasting uh, the Black Stars, and I'm sure that would be a big motivation for him to go on and do bigger things. He's a very good goalkeeper. So do we have lots of good goalkeepers on the local scene? The likes of Benjamin Asari with Great Olympics, Felix Shea with Mediema, I mean, uh, Agbasi, uh, who plays for Dream FC. A lot of top goalkeepers in our league, and I'm sure with Otuado at the helm of affairs. So all these players. Players, uh, if they prove beyond all reasonable doubt that they are capable of being in the Black Star, so Tuado would actually give them that opportunity. But let's come back home and talk about the MTN FA Cup. The 2023-2024 uh, quarterfinal started yesterday where in Swatman were in action against Karela. The game went into extra time where in Swatman got a one uh, goal uh, that aided them to qualify for the semi-final. Now, they await the winner of that game between Dreams FC and Soccer Intellectuals in the semi-final. But it was a good one, and they do yesterday mm. for Inswaterman. They started the league on a brilliant note. Things have not really shaped up for them, but to qualify for the semi-finals of the FA Cup, Eric Alagedede must be on cloud nine. Even before the start of yesterday's game, remember Masek Nodu was speaking to senior Prince Anai, and he was talking about when Kawela came into Inswatre in the first round to beat them in the Ghana Premier League. So, a very bad on the side of Inswatre mind to lose two consecutive games in the Premier League or against them in the FA Cup 2 against Kawela United. You try to do everything possible to see the best out of Inswatre the mind. They deserve to be in the semi final stage of the competition. Ah, but you know Osebos very well. He was with Great Olympics some time back. Yeah. He was the one that scored the only goal for Inswatre mind. I left back with a lot of power and pace, and it was a beautiful goal to beat Karela and qualify for the semi-final. Is big for Inswaterman. Yes, you know, you know, Eric is very, is a very good administrator. I've worked with him for some years, and when he was recruiting for Inswaterman, I know he he had a very big, big heart and big eye for for quality players. I'm not surprised Inswaterman won that game. In fact, I was expecting him to win in in regulation time, and my only worry was how they were, they were able to. I mean. They they uh, they drop a bit in the league, 
when they started very they well. They started the league on yes, the brilliant yes. note. But you know, uh, this I don't use the best smaller clubs. These clubs, whenever they, they rise to a certain level, it's very difficult for them to handle. That's is why it pressure? It's, it's a competition. That's how the competition has been made. That's why I respect Samatel so much that even up to now, they are still at the top. And in Swatrema, I expected more from them. But, you know, some of the players, fatigue, injury will come in. The mentality will change. And, you know, whenever you tell them that, oh, we don't want to win the league. We just want to stay in the league and participate. When that thing enters into the players, I mean, they are, they are ES. They, they become relaxed. And I, and, I, and I think at the point, they become very complacent, especially at their home grounds. As folk won there, I think uh, one other club also won there. And they give up, I mean, many points at, at their home grounds. And, right? and, and even in the second round of the league, they've dropped a lot of points, which Coach Max Okunedu attributes to the fact that uh, a lot of his players are actually fasting. They are taking part in the Ramadan. They've, they've, no, they've lost two games at home. Yeah. It's not only, I, I don't want us to find excuses when it comes to fasting. Because every, every club has, I mean, some... Um, some number of Muslim play, players, so I, I don't think he it's says he has about eight Muslim players. And and, and and should also should someone else also mention their list? Should as before Kokotoko mention their list? So we don't have to go there. These are natural occurrences when it comes to football. It's part of it. That is why someone like Alex Ferguson will not sign African players because of the African Cup because he knows that when he signs them and and he, and he, and he needs them in January, February, they will not, they'll, be around. They'll not be around. So these are decisions you have to make. But I'm not saying that because of that we have to discriminate against mm -hmm. Muslim, like, I mean, Muslim players. It is not right. So yeah. every team has a number of Muslim uh, players. In yes. You can't use that an, as an excuse. At all, at all. We shouldn't even try so that we we'll create some religious, mm. I mean, I mean, differences within the play, the play. But like, someone said even Christians fast. A <laughs> Christian player can be playing for no or yeah, fasting. Yes, but, but you don't know. know. <laughs> yes. So we don't have to, mm. I mean, take that into consideration. Into consideration. They, should, they should agree that in football, like we rise and fall, and and we have good days, we have bad days. It's good they are taking advantage of the FA Cup, and they are now in the semis. I would, I would love to see them winning because the big guns are not in there. The Vienna Stars, House of Folk, uh, Kotoko. Even media, I think media is yeah, media are also out. Yes, so it's, it's a big chance. Means summer techs are not in there. Yes, it's a big chance for the likes of Bofakwata No, Ligon Cities, Beijing United, Dream FC again mm. to 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 make amends in the FA Cup. So they should take advantage. I mean, the FA Cup comes with qualifying to the CAF of Federations Cup, and we all see what Dream FC is doing. Okay, so that is uh, the fixtures on your screens. There we started yesterday with this water man getting a one zero victory over Karela. Today we see Bofakwata take on Sky FC. See, that is the game we'll be showing you live on your screens. Then there's also Legon Cities against Bechem United. Dreams FC's game against Soccer Intellectuals has been rescheduled, and uh, the FA will come out with the date where that one will be played. So, already we know that the Swatman uh, are into the semi final and they are super excited knowing that this could go their way. So, today it is Sky FC who are taking on Bofuakwa. Sky FC. In division one last season we're in the semi-final back again just one step ahead of them to qualify for the semi-final that is enough motivation and they do yeah obviously you know when you monitor the the, the the performance of this sky FC team right from division one they've been a powerhouse in that particular zone they were close to qualify for the premier league last season until point deduction that brought nations fc to the Premier League. Well, you remember last season, they have top teams in that particular sector of the Division One uh, League, and Nations was part, Sky FC was part. You know, the likes of Ebusuwa Drops, they are all in the same league, trying to get one team getting promotion into the Premier League. So, for them to be on top of the league that period for a very long period until later on, Nations have to overtook them uh, in, in that particular, you know league log to come into the Premier League. So it tells you they have a powerful team doing well in Division 1. They produce some great players in recent times. This striker for Samates, Baba Musa. Baba, Baba Musa. Musa was one of the key players. In fact, one of the highest scorers in Division 1 last mm. season and now playing for, 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 for Samates. And so they've produced some quite good players in, in, in the Division 1 and they've been consistent at this stage of the FA Cup. So no wonder as it stands now, eight teams in the quarterfinal stage, we still see Sky FC in that particular uh, 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 one of eight in the FA Cup. So they can qualify ahead of Buffalo Katana, but even once you are playing at home, you have a slight advantage over the others. But the Sky FC team I've seen in recent times, they are powerful house when it comes to the FA Cup. <laughs> 
thinking about the first three games that Bofoka played in the Ghana Premier League. They were more or less one of the best sides that we have seen. They started making Sunyane a fortress. Then they started dropping off. First, it was an issue of hooliganism that saw them being banned from the Sunyane Coronation Park. And after they returned to Sunyane Coronation Park, they've never been the same team. Even though they have a striker in Dao uh, Saka who has scored eight goals in the league so far, they've not been the same team. Frempo Manso was their head coach. He had to leave. Now John Edria for what, what what happened to Bofakwatano? Because they came with a lot of fire after 16 years. You know, you, know, Mutala, you, you just sum up everything. You, football is about coaching. And if you have a coach who was doing well and then boom, you sack the coach. Mm. It becomes a problem. He started preseason with you. I mean, help you in, in recruitment and all that. And then you sack the coach. When you sack the coach, you are, you are, you are, you are going to start from, from ground zero. And then hooliganism. You and I know that even if you play at home, look how difficult it is to win. Look how it, it is difficult to raise revenue in terms of gate proceeds. And here's the case, you go on violating the FIFA regulations and you are being banned from your favorite home grounds. You have to play away from home. Your costs involved, your fans will not be coming. And you, you, know, you know some of these things. It hurts. And they've not been very good with, in terms of managerial decisions. Mm. And um, I, I know of their cases involving some of their old players that they have neglected or they have, they have sacked. Mm. And they have issues at the player status committee. At the point, one of the cases came to me for me to help the player. So we have to understand that football is holistic. We can't have a situation where you, you, you take the Premier League for granted. And you know the, how, how difficult it is for them to come from Division 1 to the Premier League. They spent almost 14 or 17 years, 16 years, six, 16 years in the Division 1 in before Division coming. One. Yeah. So this is the greatest opportunity to cement their status as a soccer apostles of Ghana football. This, this is a big club. If you care to know, Bufakotano is one of the big clubs in BA. And not only BA, they have produced a lot of quality players for Ghana as well. So um, I get surprised whenever they, they muddy the waters. And you know, the dressing room was even built by the fans. The fans mobilized resources to build the, the, the dressing room to meet the club licensing I mean, requirements. Because they wanted to see Bufakotano play yes, at all that costs. Is, that is how important the fans revere the club. That's why they have been supporting the club on this one. So their, their leaders should take this in mind and make sure Bobakwa remains in the Premier League. But it looks like things are falling apart totally for them. It is not over. We have 11 games to go. They can pick it up. I, I believe now they are picking up points. They pick points against us. Folk. They are picking up points. And, and, and they were able to beat out you too. Exactly. And they are back to where their favorite grounds. So I believe things can change if, if, if they are very consistent. Mm -hmm. Now they have an opportunity in the FA Cup going to meet a, a stronger division one side in the name of sky fc if you know sky fc they won the elite cup the elite division one cup this is a cup which was made for division one winners across the zones yeah. Yeah. and they won it i think two years ago or three years ago the they division won it. one super cup yes and yeah. they've been consistent in the zone two league at the point they nearly qualified on the nation's fc mm. won a protest that should tell you the quality that they have. And Currently, they are third in uh, the, the Division 1 league. And, yeah. and, and they will be very consistent. They have quality players. And one of them is Baba Musa, who, who has been very I mean, phenomenal for some matters. So, uh, Sky FC is not a pushover. And Baba Kwatana should not see them as, let us, I mean, push them away mm -hmm. somewhere. I mean, let's brush them away somewhere. This well, is a very big and tough customer. And they have to be very careful. Now, then, if you look at the opponent that Sky FC had to go past to get to this stage, you will say that they've say, uh, faced some big guns. They started the round of 64 beating Samatex, mm. who are on top of the Ghana Premier League at the moment. They've beaten Mediema as well in the round of 32. Then in the round of 16, they beat Elmina Sharks on penalties as compared to Bofakwa's uh, journey as well. Bofakwa also started in the round of 64 beating Oxford. Then they beat Brokum City and War Power. It seems Samatex have faced the toughest opponents getting to this stage. I always talk about the lack of the draw. But in this case, I think Sky FC have done a great job. Apart from the team that they met in the round of 16. Yeah. The rest of that the teams, is Elmina Shas. The rest of the teams are Premier League side. I remember that game against Mediema when they won at Daboise, and of course winning against Samates again at the same venue. So I always talk about the lack of the draw, but beating two Premier League side, and two seasons ago Elmina Shas were playing the Ghana Premier League. So it tells you, is a team are more rich experience in the local scene much more than Sky FC. So for you to beat those two teams to qualify. To the quarterfinal side of the competition it means you have a strong team and these are typical western region and central region teams uh, minas in 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 central region and media 
Samates in the Western region. That is where Sky FC find themselves. Yeah, so Nabuase. To have those territorial dominance over these powerful teams when it comes to Ghana football, it means you have a strong team. And mm. playing at home, they are very stubborn side. <laughs> Especially the Sky FC team. When mm. they are playing at home, very difficult to break. This time round, they were going away to Shunyai to face Bofakatano. But for quarter not two, when you look at their route to the quarterfinal stage, only one game that is had been played outside Sunyane. They played against Betim in Sunyane. And I think uh, Osport 2 was played in Sunyane. Apart from the the the, the WA uh, Power FC team, mm. that is the team that went away to meet them. So it tells you they are very strong when they are playing at home. So most of the times, Obi Obenya the lock of the draw, but ball game ever home no. You have slight advantage qualified ahead of the, the other one. And I think that is the reason why it looks like but for Katana will have the slight edge over the Sky FC team, but watch out for Sky FC. This game could be like yesterday's game. To travel beyond the 90 minutes and move to extra time because they have similar kind of performance in the FA Cup and their team have prepared very well for this particular stage of the competition. So, but for Katano, are a finalist in the FA Cup. They were uh, finalists in 1983 there, but they could not win that one. So, we take a quick break here on our uh, start times at the Pachano 247. We are building up to that quarter final MTN FA Cup game between Bofakwa and Sky FC at the Sunyane Coronation. But we will be right back. They are saying they are going to be beating you by two goals today. It can be possible. We've done it before, we've beaten them twice already, we've equipped them for the title. And they are coming with a certain level of vengeance, clearly. And we, what it means is that we need to double up and buckle up. If it is MTN FA Cup match, Obia and Obia. And you, you heard your brother from Kumasa Santino. Yeah, exactly. they're, they're saying they're going to be beating you by two goals today. It yeah, can't be possible. We've done it before. We've beaten them twice already. We've equipped them for the title. And they are coming with a certain level of vengeance, clearly. And we, what it means is that we need to double up and buckle up. If it is MTN FA Cup match, Obia and Nubia. It is the 
MTN FA Cup and today will be at the Sunyani Coronation Park for this a big a quarter final clash between Bofuakwa Channel and of course Sky FC. But uh, the officials for today uh, have been confirmed and referee Charles Bulu would be uh, in the center and at the helm of affairs assisted by Kwesi Brobe, Imano Dolagbanu and of course Abdul Latif Kader who will be the fourth referee. The venue is the Sunyani Coronation Park. So big one there. Referee Charles Bulu, a very experienced uh, figure when it comes to refereeing in Ghana. So we're expecting him to do a very, very clean job at, at the Sunyani Coronation nation back big big motivation for Bofuakwa and of course for Sky FC because there's a semi-final berth at stake for them so the quarter-final game between Bofuakwa and Sky FC is what we are looking forward to but looking at all the teams that have qualified for the quarter-finals bar in Swataman who made it to the semi-final yesterday I feel that Dream CFC will be the biggest motivators now they do going into the quarterfinals, knowing that they are testing a uh, Cup Champions League for a uh, Cup Confederation Cup football and they know how important it is to play at that level. They say, as is Isa, we know him on the African continent. So I'm sure I'm going to make the biggest motivators in this round of, of, of games. Yeah, I think they are playing today. Yeah, is against Stad Malian. Four or five. Three. I don't know the yeah. time, but against Stad Malian yeah. today. So let's wish them mm. good luck in today's game. You know, they are my favorite to win the, the, the MTN FA Cup to, to, to retain the title because of their experience in winning the trophy and what they've done in the interclub competition. When you look at the four teams in the quarter, the, the eight teams in the quarterfinal stage, Dream FC, Bofo, they are ahead of most of these teams. But I think the Dream FC team, by what I've seen around them, they are the favorites. But you know, it's something that motivates them to do well in Africa. And they have great players coming out of the FA Cup to show their talent in the CAF Confederations Cup. When you look at this Bopaka team, they have some one or two players who have done well so far in the Premier League. We are talking about uh, their captain, Saka Dauda, and some of these players in the Bopaka team. And they are facing a tricky side who, while here, are monitoring them from afar to know their strength and weakness is going to be difficult unless you watch their previous game that they've been playing so far. And that is the reason why people need to watch out this particular Sky FC team. And they've been motivated by the, the, the Wasnata, who is the, 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 the chairman of the MCN FA Cup. So he tells you he knows what it means to get into this stage. And he has motivated the players to get the best out of them in recent times in some of their games they've been playing in the FA Cup. So it made this particular game crucial for them. But I think the Bofuku team playing at home have the slight advantage over the, the Sky FC team. So, but for Aquatano, they're coming down from the Abbas. That is how they made their way to the Sunyani Coronation Bank. I just saw Elijah Adai also coming down from the bars there. Big, big one for them. And Johnny Diafo is aware of what this means to the people of Sunyani should they qualify for the semi-final. 16 years of being away, Bofo is back into uh, the top flight football. And this time, it is the Africa Bar. Sky FC, this is the addressing room as well. <laughs> Uh, they would be coming into this one, Albert, as underdogs, but they can bite. I don't really see them as underdogs. This, this is a very consistent side playing against uh, an inconsistent side, uh, which is Bofuakwa Tano. So I, I see this game as, as much of equals. It's, 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 it's unfortunate one is in the Premier League and one is in the Division One League. But you see, like my brother Riley said, this is the team that belongs to the FA Cup. Uh, Committee, uh, Committee chairman, chairman. and yes. he understands what the FA Cup is made of, and I believe that's that's even a bigger motivation for the players to know that their chairman is the their, their chairman is the chairman of the FA Cup, and it will be a very big motivation for them to win the FA Cup to I mean uh, uh, give some level of credence to the kind of effort their chairman is making. Look at how he has branded the FA Cup. He has put in much effort to make it very very lucrative. I mean, it's so beautiful. Watching from afar, yeah, and and I think uh, Mr. Wusenato Atta has done so well when it comes to the to the FA Cup. I just hope that the kind of energy and the kind of I mean spirit he has put in the FA Cup, he's putting the same thing in his club, which is Sky FC. And today, I think it's a big opportunity for them to tell the world that they are they are they are really made of something huge, and and they are ready to display them today. But for Patano, we'll have the home advantage. Okay, we'll have the fans behind them. They are very familiar with the turf. 
familiar with the atmosphere and the environment. But this is football. That's why it's the FA Cup. Obia and Obia, anything can happen today. Mm -hmm. Just as the likes of Nani and Co. Had, 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 have they blazed the trail when it, when it came to the FA Cup. I believe Sky FC can also do that. How about you are closer to players and player management and teams. You've worked with teams before. How difficult is it to play a side that you have little information about? I'm sure Sky FC knows all about Bofakwa Tano because they've been seeing them on TV. Thanks to Star Times bringing the Ghana Premier yeah. League to the doorstep of many. But I'm not sure. Up. Yes, I'm not sure Bofo have information on Sky FC because hardly do you have find the Division 1 League or on our screens. That's why it is incumbent on every club, being in Division 1 or Premier, to have a scout. I mean, to have a scouting team who will be observers and give you reports. And I believe they are monitoring the Zone 2 league. I'm, I'm not sure if I can know that's why monitor the league because where would they get the players to, to, to recruit? These are often used to recruit players. So you should be monitoring the Division 1 league to see which of the best players coming up. And I, and I believe since they are in the same FA Cup with them and they know the roadmap, you know the roadmap was given. Yeah. I mean, the, the team that you meet going forward and all that. So they knew that they are likely to meet Sky FC. So I expected them to have a standby coach who will act as a scout to go around, watch uh, Sky FC matches and monitor the, their strengths and weaknesses. I think this is a comment on any club, not only of Aqua. And I believe they have done so. But the fact that the Premier side should give them a 50% edge because they have a more, I mean, tougher atmosphere or competition than the division one even though we call the division one the soccer wilderness it, it, it's called the soccer wilderness, not because of <laughs> the, the highly competitive nature mm. but it's it's how difficult it is to grind resource yeah especially with the off the ball incidents mm. but those, those are there are some <laughs> there are some venues you go there i mean you see strange things in the dressing room sometimes you see some just throwing up you know up here yeah so just to throw up here to your to your yeah <laughs> no that and these are the things that, that, that were done in the in the division one league so the Premier League has a very, I mean, a comparatively better competition for Bofakwa to ride on to, to win today's game. Okay. Uh, yeah. When you go to some of these zones, they have some quite quality teams in the division mm -hmm. one team. They have quality players, the same as this. Oh, that, that, is what I, that was what I was about asking you, because you speak to Mr. Wilsonata, uh, the president of Sky FC, and he will tell you that his players are as good as uh, Premier League players everywhere in, in Ghana. He says that his team, the only difference between his team and the, the likes of Kotoko is that he's not playing in the Premier League, but the quality that he has can equally fill in, in those teams. In the last three years, Mutala, there's not a big gap between Premier League players and Division 1 players. Why do you say so? Because players move from Division 1, even enters the big teams in the Premier League and command first level. Yes. Let's go to the House of Oak team. One of their brightest spots is Martin Kakari. Yes. Last season, he was playing in Division 1. Yeah. He's a key player to them now. For a second. Yeah. For a second. Even, even Isa, uh, uh, their striker. I'm, I'm talking Hamza. about Hamza. Hamza was Isa. playing the Division 2 league with Aruas. Aruas. But he's the highest scorer for Aruas. Obviously. A key player. Kelvin was yes be one of the best players, defenders in Division 1 last season. Mm. Now playing for Hearts of Oak. Yeah. Winnie me, one of the best players in Division 1. For, I think, Akriti United. Yes, Akriti. Now playing for Hearts of Oak. Go to Asante Kotoko. We were talking about this match for that. The injury now affects Asante Kotoko. Sarik Mohamed. He was playing for Stefan two seasons ago. He joined Asante Kotoko. He has won the Premier League. A key player now. Even Peter Amid was playing Park Academy. Peter Amid Waka was playing for Park Academy. <laughs> now a key player for Asante Kotoko. Yes. So there is no big gap between players playing in the Premier League nowadays At all. and the players playing in the Division 1. We were talking about Baba Hamadou who yeah. was one of the top scorers in Division, Division 1. Only. Now the main striker for Samates. Exactly. The player scored two goals against House of Oak last week against Samates. Mm. Ivan Soseusu was playing for, was playing for, for Tamayu. Youth. Just two seasons ago. So yeah. that was his first time of playing in the, the Premier League? Obviously. Yeah. So there's no big gap between players playing At Division all. 1 and playing the Premier League. It's just a platform, the, the change of platform. And that's exposure. All. That's all. So players in Division 1 on a big platform like this. They know it's on TV. They would like to showcase their talent to the world for people to know Sky FC have gotten quality players who can compete in the Premier League. Yeah. Premier League side nowadays will enter into Division 1 by key players. You know, yesterday we saw Marshall Ajima Akito. Yeah. He moved to Asante Kotoko from, from a Mighty, Division 1. From Mighty Royals. Mighty Royals. From a Division 1 side. So, players from Division 1 nowadays, not like it used to be a Kotoko Ben Agency. Or top player. Players are not performing in the Premier League. That will be the players who they will yeah. go for. Division 1 players, Division 2, Isaac Kopo Neymar. 
Sunyani Neymar. Sunyani Neymar. From Division <laughs> 1, Division 2. Destiny Fuapa. From Division 1, Division 2. These are all players are on board, on board in the Premier League side. Yeah. So there is no big gap like it used to be those days from players playing the Division 1 and players playing the Premier League. So Sky FC players would demonstrate good football today at the Sunyani Coronation Park. And you think some of the Sky FC players can easily walk into this Bofaqua team? Most of them will enter into the team. They needed exposure and good motivation, and they will play. I'm asking that because Albert said the level of quality at uh, the Premier League level is uh, it's a bit higher than that of the Division One. And Tina maybe I think it's all about the league, it's, it's, but individual. It's a competition yeah. I meant, mm. like the, the competition, competition rather, not, not the quality. Not the quality. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, because if you look at the players, some players in Division One are even better than players in the Premier League. Really? Yes. If if like like I told you, because I work with players. Sometimes, I, that's why I told you, even when some players were in the Division 1 league, I knew they were better than some, some players in the, in the Premier League. For example, Frederick Asari, I knew he was, he was a better keeper than even some of the Premier League players. All he did was a platform to exhibit his stuff. Not only him, I recommended uh, uh, Amza Issa, the, the house Aras. I, wa I watched their middle league and I told the house people, please. This guy deserves is better than some of the players I have. I don't want to mention some players who are striking for us to folk. It, it, it's not fair. But I saw that this young guy is far better than the current players, the current strikers have been using. And when you tried him as a, as a main striker, now he has, he's a top he, has, he has even scored goals more than players who have more than strikers who have stayed in Asufu for four years. Just one season, he has accumulated goals and Asufu players who have stayed there for more than four, four years. Albert, I'll come back to you. But uh, on your screen is there. It's about for Aquatano and how they are warming up for the big game. Uh, it would kick off in a few minutes' time. It is both Aqua against Sky FC. Very, very important game for both sides. As I told you, in the round of 64, Bofakwa defeated Oxford uh, by three goals to zero before defeating Brecom City by a goal to nil in the round of 32. And in the round of 16, they also beat Wapawa by a goal to nil. Uh, their coach is John Edria for Sky FC. Also, I will tell you about them. But let's go uh, there and have a listen to the two managers. The MTN FA Cup offers Bofakwa Tano an opportunity to show what they are made of. It's a tournament that every club that participates in wants to get to the very end, the very top, which is the final. So far, you have made it up to the quarterfinals. What stage is the team in, in terms of annexing a win today? Thank you very much. Um, this afternoon, the team is well prepared and... Our focus is to play a very good game today and win at the end. That is the ultimate and that is the objective for my team this afternoon. We are prepared and want to play a good football and win at the end. Performance in the Ghana Premier League uh, may not augur well for Bofakwa in terms of your performance this season. A team that started very well in the first half or the first round. What should we look out for in terms of the approach to the game? In regards to today's game, yes, an attacking minded game, good defensive work by the Thai team, a good of a lot of possessive aspect of it, and then a goal to score at the end. That is what we are looking out for. Coach, finally, before I let you go, what should we look out for in your approach to today's game? Uh, just as I rightly said, we want to defend very well, we want to possess the game, and we want to score at the end. That is the first. Sky FC and the MTN FA Cup are more like a family. This is about the third time you've gotten to this stage of the competition. This year, what will be the difference as you try and edge your way towards the final? What's the difference? Thank you very much. Uh, a lot of preparation was put, was put in okay. uh, before reaching this stage. You know, last year we, we last year we end up at the semifinals. And so, if nothing at all, we would just want to repeat same or go to the finals, but not to re re remain at the what the, the, the quarterfinals. I see. Okay. How has the performance been per your standards? You play in uh, Division One. It's a very very tough decision. Uh, division. How has it been so far? Since I took over, uh, it has been up and down. Uh, I may say. There were matches that we feel we could have won. But we drew at home, 
went away, won, come back to home, and then drew again, which was very bad because we lose almost our five points within four matches, which was very bad. Uh, we, we, are now, we are now working on a lot of strategies. You know, I'm a new coach there. Uh, they were in a different system. My system was a little bit variation from them, but I tried to uh, let, let, let them know my philosophy so that we will, uh, the subsequent matches we can move on. I see. Okay. Now that they have been able to graduate into your philosophy, what kind of approach will we see Sky FC uh, adopt today? Today we'll be playing the uh, 4-2-3-1. Uh, we'll be in a little bit defensive. So that then we take them on. We'll sit, soak the pressure, and then take them on. We'll be operating from the flanks uh, as normal. Mm. Because our strength lies in the flanks. So you'll see a lot of bobo switching to the flanks during the transitional period. Okay. Coach, we wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Loco is the head coach of uh, Sky FC and very confident that his side would actually upset uh, their opponent that is Bofa Quatano. But John Eduardo also says that despite the fact that things are not moving smoothly for them in the Ghana Premier League, they have their eye set firmly on the FA Cup and they are going for the kill. I'll bet this is going to be an interesting one. Both managers <laughs> are bringing with confidence. Yes, it's, it's good to have the confidence to play. Um, I'm happy hearing our Coaches speak before matches, and I was happy with uh, Mr. Luku. I love the way he was telling us about his system. Uh, for me, I think the era of uh, Nyamibe, Nyamibe is, is over. <laughs> it's yeah, long gone. Yes, it's over. We have to be very scientific and then go straight to the point. He said he's going with a 4 2 3 1 formation. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and he was talking about philosophy, how he came to meet a different philosophy, and he's trying to change their philosophies. I think it's, it's good for our game. They have gone, I mean, through a lot of matches mm -hmm. before getting here. I want to see a very good game. Uh, Edriafu, John Edriafu, I've known him for many years. I've been coached uh, a lot of clubs. I've been assisted uh, okay. uh, Kotoko, mm -hmm. coach uh, Kotoku Royals. I think okay. he has what it takes to win the game. Okay, so it's that time that we cross over to the Sunyane Coronation Park for the first half. It is Bofu Akwa taking on Sky FC. Enjoy. <laughs> Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. We are coming to you from the Sunyai Coronation Park. It's MTN FA Cup action and this afternoon it's a quarter final tie between the home side Bofwa Kwatano Football Club. They're playing as hosts to Sky FC who've traveled all the way from Dabwasi in the western region. 